Every congressman swears an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. But then many of them act as if there were no Constitution at all. Let's hold their feet to the fire. Let's have a constitutional showdown. Arizona Representative John Shadig has introduced H.R. 450, the Enumerated Powers Act. This bill says that each act of Congress shall contain a concise and definite statement of the constitutional authority relied upon for the enactment of each portion of the act. What a great idea! Every law would have to cite its constitutional authority before being considered. Surely every congressman ought to support this idea. Well, maybe not. Representative Shadig has had a similar bill in every Congress since 1994. And in every Congress, the bill has been killed in committee. Not this time. Let's have a constitutional showdown. Let's ask every congressman to declare his or her support for the Constitution by pledging to co-sponsor H.R. 450 and vote for its passage, or to explain in writing why they will not. To locate your congressman, visit congress.org and enter your zip code in this box. Everything you need to know about your representative will appear here. Call the office and ask if the congressman will co-sponsor and vote for H.R. 450, the Enumerated Powers Act. The staff person will probably have to get back to you. But next, send an email to your congressman asking the same question and request a written explanation if he will not sponsor the bill. Your request will likely be ignored, so keep a good record. If your congressman will not co-sponsor H.R. 450, or will not answer you at all after a reasonable time, write a letter to the editor of every newspaper in the district reciting the response your congressman gave. If your congressman will not support H.R. 450, or provide an acceptable written reason why not, begin looking for a replacement candidate who will support the Enumerated Powers Act. John Conyers is the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, where the Enumerated Powers Act has died in every Congress since 1994. Let's have a constitutional showdown. Let's bombard the chairman's office with requests to bring H.R. 450 to the House floor for a recorded vote. Let's make our congressmen stand up and be counted. We, the people who elect these representatives, are the only power strong enough to make our congressmen respect the Constitution they have sworn to protect.